No, no, no. I preach for one reason and one reason only. Because there's an eight-year-old boy on the pew of a Pentecostal church in southern New England. I sat there as church was going on. And literally, all of a sudden, the sound was cut off. Literally. People were saying amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah. You know how Pentecostal folks are. Our little church was a fiery little church. We were, we were not a quiet church. And all of a sudden, the sound went dead, literally. And I began to look around, and I'm thinking, what's going on? I could not hear a thing. It was like I'd gone deaf all of a sudden. But at the same time, I, don't ask me how, but I knew it wasn't me. I, I knew I hadn't gone deaf, but at the same time, I could hear nothing. It, it was so dead silent that all of a sudden I heard a voice speak to me in the most calm and passive voice, not a loud, booming voice, a very calm, passive voice. I'll never forget it because I was looking up at my pastor. He was up there. I don't think he was preaching yet. I think he was kind of exhorting the people during the worship service, you know. And kind of like I'm trying to do now. And the people were saying amen. And I'm looking around, dead silent. I look up at the pastor. And then all of a sudden, this calm voice said to me, That's what I want you to do. Just exactly at that level. Just, just like that. That's what I want you to do. I knew it had to be God. I was eight years old. <laughs> eight years old. I already had the Holy Ghost, folks. I knew it had to be God. I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? I, I didn't quite understand what he was telling me. I said, what do you want me to do? And then the voice said, I want you to preach. So you wonder why this preacher gets up here Sunday after Sunday and preaches the good news of the gospel, whether or not there's people in this building, whether or not I have an audience locally. No, I'm going to preach because that's what God wants me to do. Hallelujah. Amen.